Good morning, morning, everybody, and welcome to our very own special um, Wake Up Missoula today. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noel McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. And that was Asaf Adonai on piano with that lovely intro by the Carpenters. Yes, close to you. It's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song. I just love it so much. Thank you, Asaf. My pleasure. Uh, happy Wednesday, everyone. We've got Vis Vicki Bostic on today mm -hmm. from the Missoula Aging Services to talk about senior companions. We will hear from her in a few minutes. Cool. We've got community events. We've got weather we don't have any new programming i but i will show you oh. some of the uh, a little tease of program that are going to be Good. on tonight and tomorrow that you guys can check out on our channel 189 it should be great a lot of great uh, information mm -hmm. there's some pulitzer prize um winners from back in the from vietnam cool did a talk and we'll show a little bit of a uh, video on that which basically all starts today at five and i'll probably show that video after we show our guests but we have a couple art clips I have for you guys today as well. And of course, uh, the weather. I'm sure all of you guys are uh, probably like hoping that all this rain is gonna go help the, uh, the forest prevent any kind of fire seasons. <laughs> but I, I, as much as I love to be the bearer of bad news, it's, it, we're, fire season's always inevitable. It's always gonna happen. We just have it to really find is. a way to come together as a people and figure out how to fight that fire. <laughs> come together now. <laughs> come come on, together people now. as a people. Yeah, 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 no, no. All the people, people now. now. People, 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 yeah. What's wrong Actually, with these people? Actually, um, Climate Smart Missoula, which is this uh, climate organization in Missoula, they're actually working on this exact thing. They've been talking about um, how what to do in the community to uh, kind of keep ourselves safe from all the smoke and all the fire that's going to come. Short so, breaths. Yeah. I'll get a hold of them and we should find out more about it. But it sounds like it's going to be interesting. I don't know how they're going to try to do that. Yeah. I well, want to hear more. From what I do, like, especially during the winter, it's even worse because you have all those cloud coverage. You have all, like, it, we're living in an inversion. We're like a petri dish of, like, oh, a cesspool of uh, just horrible, just terribleness. <laughs> I love Missoula, but I also hate Missoula. <laughs> but Missoula in the winter is pretty bad. It's like the weather is like all this stuff is like in this little um, inversion. Uh, everything just kind of just settles in Missoula for a while. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, during the summer, you see all the haze that kind of like fills our um, areas like near the trees, like tree pollution and all that stuff. I, I hate tree pollution. Yes. The jerks. And not any worse <laughs> than car pollution or cow pollution. Because apparently, um, I read in an article that... Um, uh, 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 methane from a cow is like the cause of like 30% of global warming. And, it's like, <laughs> and especially in Montana, there's like four or five cows per person. <laughs> so I'm not saying that we should kill all the cows, but but we should kill all the cows. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys really want to stop global warming, kill those cows. <laughs> That's like the worst thing you can say. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm vegan too. It's true, but, yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah. By me not killing those cows, it's causing global warming. It really is. And so, it, but. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, I know. Such a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> my, but of course, uh, the weather. Uh, let's yes, yes, let's look at weather, it. Because we went off on a little tangent right there. <laughs> uh, it is currently 44 degrees outside. Um, it's going to get a little bit warmer, but only by uh, 10 or 18 degrees. Um, but you can expect. Uh, showers and rain happening pretty much all week yeah but those showers will bring me flowers <laughs> so we can look forward to that oh please oh. <laughs> <laughs> behave noel <laughs> but of course um if you want to find out more information, you can always uh, log into the National Weather Service uh, at nationalweatherservice.gov. Yep. But of course, if you, want to, if you want to find out more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice. We made you write it out twice, and I'm cheap to buy the licensing for wakeupmissoula.com. <laughs> um, you can also like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter. You can check us out on Facebook. And you can also find more information about us on mcat.org. And of course, if you guys haven't already seen the um, City Council for Monday, I suggest you watch it because I didn't watch it. <laughs> and you can find more information by logging on to ci.missoula.mt.us, otherwise known as City of Missoula, Montana, United States. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple. You can also Google it or use Yahoo or dogpile.com. Yes, <laughs> dogpile.com. Scott's favorite Scott, search engine. Or, or, and every other um, tween boy's favorite yeah. um, search engine as well. From the 2000s, From early the 2000s. 2000s, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but of course, uh, I have an art clip from yeah, that, and this is gonna... featured 
featuring, um, I believe this is featuring the um, Missoula Art Museum, and it's all about the uh, floodplains uh, installation on the third floor of the Missoula Art Museum. So you can guys check that out. And when we come back, we'll have Vicky on to talk about Senior Companions. Bostick from Missoula Aging Services, and she's going to be telling us all about Senior Companions. Hello, Vicki. Good How morning. Are you? And so, first of all, I know that uh, Missoula Aging Services has a great mission. So, you please tell us that. Yes, the mission of Missoula Aging Services is to help promote the independence, dignity, and health of other adults, older adults, and those who care for them. Yeah, I know it's so awesome. We to always talk about. Uh, we always get the. Um, a guest from Missoula Agent Services to say that mission statement. Well, yeah, it's a great, it's like I mean... It's like this nice, nice little test, trial by fire test. Well, we were talking about how m many good programs Missoula Aging Services has before Vicki was on today. Yeah. Yes, and I think that's where Missoula Aging Services has such a wonderful mission because they do, by having that, they can reach out in so many areas, and they do. Mm -hmm. And today, the Senior Corps is what I represent, and they represent three different programs that um, are made for volunteers who want to help in our community and make a difference. And they're 55 or older. Mm -hmm. And the program that we would like to talk today about is Senior Companions. And they go into our community and help other older adults and adults with disabilities remain as independent as possible. Mm -hmm. And for many of them, that's just helping with the isolation and having someone else to visit with and, and go to take care of some of their errands. Many, many different things, but um, so they can be doing uh, they might be going out and helping them to run some errands, get groceries. Maybe that's ha that adult happens to be homebound and they just need some help getting out and taking care of those things, going to a doctor's appointment. Possibly just a chance to visit with someone else. Or they have a caregiver and the caregiver would love to have a chance to get out of the home and take care of some of the things that need to be done. Yeah. So there's just no end to the different types of things they might be doing for them. And what happens that's so wonderful is it comes full around. They begin by wanting to help others, but they find that what it brings to their lives is amazing. You know, they form new friendships, uh, whether it be with the people they're serving or others in our community who are also like senior companions um, and helping others volunteer. And it, so it's just a wonderful full, full circle. Awesome. And so how many stops, how many senior companions, or I guess how many houses does a senior companion have in a day? They normally see one client and they'll spend about four hours with that client and doing whatever errands or whatever they need. So they normally see one person a day and five in a week. Um, we ask that they volunteer about 20 hours a week. They must, for the program, volunteer uh, at least 15 and no more than 40, but we encourage them not to do that many. We, we want yeah. them to enjoy their time and not to burn out and be able mm -hmm. to continue to do it. Yeah. So they normally have about five clients in a week. That's great. That's mm -hmm. a great number. Yeah, four hours, that's perfect. And so where can people find more information about you guys? They can always go to our website, which is www.missoulaagingservices.org, mm -hmm. or of course call the agency, 728-7682. And then they can also email me, which is recruit at missoulaagingservices.org. 
oh, and right. so there's lots of information mm -hmm. and then some of the benefits of while they are volunteering for us um, they receive a stipend it's a tax-free stipend and there also is um, a mileage reimbursement for the time that they serve excess insurance for um, the time that they're serving as well and pre-service orientation and training because a lot of people come and say well I don't know what to do but that's never an issue we always make sure that they feel comfortable what they're doing in the community for us and um, and like I said then just the wonderful other things that aging services gives them is um, holidays and uh, paid time off while they're um, maybe going to visit their family or do something at their own time so there's lots of great benefits like I said nothing to say nothing of the ones that they find they didn't even expect, you know, the different friendships and what they know it brings to our community and the difference it makes. That's awesome. Well, we just have an urgent need right now. We, yeah. We need, there's a waiting list for people who want a senior companion and we can't fulfill that right How now. How many do you have right now? We currently have, I think, 28. 28. We, we, we'd like to have 10 more. Yeah. It would yeah. be great. Yeah. So one more time, where can people find your information? How can they volunteer? Well, they can certainly volunteer by just walking through the door and saying, I want to do this, and who do I talk to? If they forget who I am, it's not a problem at all. Um, but they can um, get, up, get on the website, which is missoulaagingservices.org, or call the agency, 728-7682. And then I do have an email as well. Great. And then um, you said there are two other programs that you guys have that if someone doesn't want to be a senior companion that they can also get involved with. Can you tell us about those? Absolutely. Yes, sometimes people come in and say, this just I would like to work with children. Well, then we have foster grandparent program. And, um, and that's just helping other children, I mean children one-on-one -on -one with any of the things that they, you know, the teacher might see that they need to do. Most of the time they're working with them in reading, spelling, math, you know, the core subjects that mm -hmm. they truly need help so that they can promote themselves and go on with that grade level. And then RSVP, and that is truly guilt-free volunteering in our community, whether they want to do one project a day one project a year. Mm -hmm. There just really is no end to what can happen with RSVP. They might be helping out at the police department. Um, they could be at the food bank. I believe Judy has about 250 different job descriptions. Mm -hmm. So it's really fun for us to be able to sit down with them and say, what would you truly enjoy doing in our community? And, um, and then we just help them get matched up with something that um, goes on in our community, which as we know, there's just so many different yeah. places to volunteer. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Vicki. Is there anything else you want to tell us before we let you go? Mm -hmm. I just uh, give us a call. If you've ever thought about volunteering and truly don't know what it is you'd like to do, we will help you come to that conclusion. And, um, and like I said, we will not make you or you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. But the people that come to us oftentimes come for a specific reason. They're, there's a void in their life. But they don't stay for 5, 10, 15 years yeah. because it's anything but what they know is making a difference. It's making a difference for them in their life and for our community. That's awesome. Thanks, Thank Vicki. Thank you. We'll All right, we have back. a whole bunch of new programs for you guys. Um, stay, stay with us. When we come back, we'll have uh, Noel with events. Aside from Social Security, it is the number one program to lift people out of poverty in the country. Um, in Montana, there are over 100,000 people that are working but still living in poverty. Um, the economy is recovering, but it's very slow, and the number of people that are going to be working in jobs that are paying low wages is, is only going to increase. So, If they're looking for the kind of jobs that I'm offering, um, they tend to be somebody who is going to be interested in international travel, inter interested in other cultures, and particularly interested in sharing um, experiences with other people. I run there, I get sh hit by rock in a motor, 82, I hit my, my leg right here. Third, I step in the Bogota, I saw my camera all broken everywhere. I said, what happened? I didn't hear yet. Then I walk and I, I know my, I get shot. I, I hit my uh, motor. And when my mother put out an AB, he had my inside the Bogota right away. Second motor come in, hit same play. I'm very lucky, if not, I'm going to die right there. Which is generally regarded as the gospel truth by everyone. <laughs> would create a diatribe of verbal gymnastics and just give this very profound explanation and people would go, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and sometimes he would get this 
um, scholar in who would uh, try to explain, well, this is what he meant. You know, this means death and this means something else. And he'd say, yes, that's exactly what I meant. But I actually like the view better on the other side. And you can be outside and be more free, so it's good. But you look across the river, and so the Shalikos all parade through town or from their houses out to the grounds. Um, and they're kind of followed by their handlers. And they get out to the, this has nothing to do with housing, really. This is just sharing. Um, and they have like this field and they run back and forth and plant their prayer sticks and so they run 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 and then they like stop and something drops out and then they run kind of, it's very funny <laughs> you can see all that and more by um, watching us on channel 189 which is what you're watching right now unless you're watching on YouTube later but what do you think they were doing in that what's going on there I, that one girl was just like moon. I have no idea the, the, have. that was no the uh, Barbie dance and <laughs> okay. they were dancing to the moon it's, it, nice. the show is called all about moon okay 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 yep. nice <laughs> I just like that one of those girls at the end was just like no clue where am I oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no idea that's how I dance all the time <laughs> oh hey how's it going? That's pretty funny. <laughs> but of course, uh, if you want to find out where you can watch that now instead of later, you can log on to our webpage, mcat.org. I'll zoom in where it would be good. So you go to one of our channels. 190 is our civic channel. Mm -hmm. You go to 189, and it brings you to this page. And you can see a whole bunch of these videos and stuff like that. In better the, in, in an easier way than um, clicking on any of these videos that are on here, you go see entire schedule, which is right here this little blue bar right here you click on it and then you get a list of your schedule and if you see the little green arrow right next to the program then you're able to watch it before it goes live yep yeah here's wake up missoula also um our website we've got a search bar um, where if you want to see a program but you don't know where it is or don't know which day it plays on, you can type it in the search bar up at the top right there and you can find it. And then also right below, right here, are these dates. Yep. And so if you want to find something that happened yesterday, just click on the arrow and it'll take you to the day before. Yep. And you can and you click right here in the middle. You can go to, on the calendar and, it'll, mm -hmm. and and you can go to any part of the day because we usually keep um, up on our calendars probably a month in advance, um, courtesy yeah. of our very own Lori, who is our program director. Yes. Um, and so another great thing about that is if you see something that aired a month ago, but you see the little green arrow next to it, you can still watch. Watch it. So even though it's not live or it's not playing at that moment, you can still get your fix. So that's one of the best parts about our feature, I do believe. But we're switching gears now and we've got community events. So this is what's going on uh, in your community today. Up first, at the Lifelong Learning Center, we've got a few workout classes. We've got Bar Fitness. It starts at 10 a.m. at that 310 Curtis. And then uh, also at 10 at the Lifelong Learning Center is over 50 and fit. This is for individuals who are over 50 or deconditioned or needs a little bit more of a gentle practice and gentle exercise. Uh, you can call 549-8765 for more information about that. Over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got open hours in their maker space. It starts at 10 a.m. until 6. You can work on a project of your choice or learn how to use their equipment. Over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, we have Ice Volcanoes. It starts at 11, so it's a new twist on baking soda and vinegar volcanoes. So it'll be frozen volcano fizz and bubble. That's so great. I can't wait. Um, Science Sprouts is at the Missoula Insectarium. It starts at 11. They're talking about it's Eric Carl month, and they're talking about the Grouchy Ladybug. So I can imagine that they'll be reading from that book and then talking about ladybugs. Yeah. Uh, over at the University of Montana, University of Missoula, University of Montana, right? I don't know. 
I go there, but I have no idea. Well, it's small enough to be called the University of Missoula now. Yeah, right? So at the University Center, room 330, they've got a sports diplo diplomacy class or like a discussion. It's called Engaging Youth Across Nations. It starts at noon. Um, and so it's a offering of the United States Department of U.S. Department of State Sports United Initiative to Laos. So there were American participants from the 2006 Sports United Initiative, and they're going to share their reflections on their visits. Um, and also, we'll focus on the value of sports diplomacy for empowering youth and promoting cross-cultural understanding. How interesting! Wow, that's cool. Um, over the public library, we've got Be Upcycled, a tool demo day in the makerspace. It starts uh, at 1230. So that'll be 1230 to 1. And again, from 130 to 2. You can call 317-2667 for more information. And it'll be, they're going to be using the Cricut Cutter, uh, which a Cricut Cutter is good for scrapbooking. <laughs> I worked in a fabric store for a really, really long time when I was in high school. So I know, I got to know all those weird, fabric cutting and scrapbooking things. Crickets, women go crazy over them. Over at the public library at 12.30 in the computer classroom, they've got a stream your music class. So if you got some music you don't know how to play it, don't know how to stream it, don't really know what's going on, you can go to this. Just call 721-2665. Over at the Lifelong Learning Center, we've got a couple more fitness classes. First is called Strength and Core Fusion. That starts at 4.30. Also at 4.30 is Tabata Boot Camp and more. Both of those are, life, are at the Lifelong Learning Center at 310 Curtis. Um, if you guys have never heard of Tabata, Tabata is a high intense interval. So, you, so what it is is that you experience 20 seconds of heart pounding exertion followed by 10 seconds of rest for four minutes and then you move on to the next exercise. So it's really high intense energy. Uh, but I hear that this is very effective. Over the Top Hat Lounge at 4.30, we've got our Sharon in the Groove celebrating the music of Fish. Um, and so this is, it, it's like trivia, show, trivia happy hour. They have audio show, they have visuals, all about the jam band Fish. And then they do this Wednesdays and then Monday nights they have the Grateful Dead. Over at Lola Peak Brewing Company, they've got a pint night. 75 cents from every beer sold will go to the Montana Down Syndrome Association. That goes from 5.30 to 8. Uh, over at the Lifelong Learning Center, we've got a couple more fitness classes. They're really getting their fitness on this week. Uh, cycling intervals is at 5.30, and then yoga is also at 5.30. Oh, and then uh, we have another class at the Lifelong Learning Center, but it's not fitness. It's a sprinkler system tune-up. It starts at 6. So if you uh, want to figure out how to tune up your sprinklers, you can go to this class. Also at 6 at the Zootown Arts Community Center is Bob Ross Night. Uh, you can follow along with, to a video and make your own painting with happy clouds and cute little trees. Uh, cost is $25 and it covers all of your materials, supplies, and canvas. Uh, starting at 6 until 7.30 at the Public Library, we've got jewelry making workshop in their maker space. Uh, you can uh, learn how to make some jewelry. Starts, it goes from 6 to 7.30. The Gallagher Business Building in Room 123 is a global public health lecture series. Uh, this concentrates on, uh, this is a weekly lectures from prominent Montana health care providers that go to other countries and they come back and talk about their experiences. Ron, uh, which is our videographer here, he usually films these, so if you can't see it in person, it'll be on our channel later. We have country dance lessons with instructor Kathy Clark, 7 p.m. at the Sunrise Saloon. It's only $5. Romeo and Juliet is playing at the University of Montana at 7.30, so this is their uh, rendition of it. Um, and so this is general public is $20, seniors 16 and older 16, students are 10, and it looks like students and, 12 and children 12 and under are $10. It's pretty nice. And that'll be playing, let's see, 427, so April 27th to the 29th, and then May 3rd to the May 7th. So you've got about two weeks to check it out. 
We've got music for tonight. Over at the Wilma Theater at 8 p.m. is M83 M83 with Yacht. Um, They are super fun electronic music. Most of the time I'm like hating on electronic music and very judgmental and not shy about it. But this is fun. This is really, really, really fun things. And they use other uh, instruments other than, you know, computers and stuff like that. So that's at 8. There are tickets. I don't know how much they cost. But either way, it should be a good time. Karaoke contest is at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30. Easy Star All Stars is at the Top Hat Lounge at 9. This is another awesome band. They're reggae and they've been around for a long time. So if you don't want to get your electronic fix but want your reggae fix, head over to the Top Hat at 9 o'clock. Over the Badlander at 9, we've got Karaoke. Milk Crate Wednesday at the Palace at 9. And then now that's like sketchy bad electronic. Uh, actually, I don't know, but that's at the Palace at 9. And then karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon, also at 9 o'clock. So that's what's going on in your community for your Wednesday. Uh, up next, we've got Musical Notes with Asaph Adonai. There's an old saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And with the support of her friends, family, and her husband, Ken Tata, our guest, has made a lot of lemonade in her lifetime. We're talking about the lovely Johnny Erickson Tata, and there she is looking very lovely there. And this lady not only made a lot of lemonade, she took the world by storm. <laughs> she is an iconic living legend known to the world as Johnny Erickson Tata. In short, Johnny was born, oh, I'm sorry, before we talk about that, let's talk about the accident. July 30th, 1967, she, she dove into the Chesapeake Bay had a diving accident which left her quadriplegic paralyzed from the shoulders down. So at that time, life seemed to have ended for her, but in her case, it became a beginning because see this picture here? During her two year rehabilitation period, she learned how to do artwork with her teeth. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. I mean, she's done a lot, of, a lot of drawings that are on display all over the place. Now, I forgot to uh, give Scott the information on the video clip, so I'll just narrate instead. I had a clip of her telling her story on Larry King, but I can tell the story. Anyway, she's been in this chair for 48 years. There she is as a young woman, very lovely again. And um, what's amazing about this lady is her accomplishments, and that's what I want to talk about real quick. Johnny Erickson Tata is a Christian. She is an ev evangelical Christian. She is an author, radio host, and founder of an organization called Johnny and Friends, which helps you know, people with disabilities all around the world. Johnny was born in 1949. She's the youngest of four daughters. And she has an international best-selling autobiography called Johnny, The Unforgettable Story of a Young Woman's Struggle Against Quadriplegia and Depression. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. International best-selling. She's been married to the same guy, this young man here, handsome young man here. His name is Ken Tata. They were married in 1982, been married all these years. And another thing, Johnny has received so many awards, I wouldn't even be able to mention them all. But um, here, she has a degree, a Bachelor of Letters from the Western Maryland College, an honorary Doctor of Humanities from Garden College, an honorary Doctor of Humane Letters for Columbia International University, and just tons of others I wouldn't have time to mention. She has received the, um, oh, let me say this real quick. She has written 48 books on the subjects of disability and Christianity. Can you imagine that? 48 books. It's a lot. Yeah. I mean, it was tough enough when I wrote my book. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, this lovely lady here, she has received what's called, well, she wrote a children's book called Tell Me the Promises, which received the Evangelical Publishers Association's Gold Medallion and Silver Medal in the 1997 C.S. Lewis Awards. And I just think that's just an amazing feat. And this lady has done, obviously, pages more, so this is just a flyover of this lady's accomplishments. So I wanted to give tribute to Johnny Erickson Tata, and your audience could look her up and to see she has records. They did a movie on her life. Just, yeah. This lady has done it all. She just rules. And it's she just rides. it's just very interesting, you know, if you like I wonder if she thinks about her life if she hadn't been paralyzed. Like if she would have had this much drive. Probably you know? Not. I don't, I don't know. think so either, because I feel like her accident propelled her to have this much drive and ambition and be like, yeah. I'm not my accident, I'm not, you know, That's a correct. quadriplegic. I am driven. 
Yeah, that's Kate awesome. Bonner would call her Super Johnny. <laughs> she sounds great. She sounds like a, such an inspiration. She is just such a sweet. I've never met this lady, but I did get a letter from her once years ago. Yeah. That I still have to this day. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What'd you get a letter for her? Well, for? I saw her on television singing, and I uh, told her some info about my own music and stuff. And of course, she didn't physically write it, but it was so personalized. That I knew it came from her. That's so awesome. So, Johnny, if you're watching this, if you ever see this, Maranatha, what a neat lady. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Asaf. Sure. That was Musical Notes with Asaf Adonai. We'll be right back after this. events going on for Thursday. So this uh, first one is pretty sweet. Over the Children's Museum of Missoula starting at 11, they're making homemade lava lamps, which I think is awesome. So you can make some. That sounds great. Make me one. Uh, over the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got a lunchbox special. Total body conditioning class that starts at noon. The Lifelong Learning Center has really been whooping people's butts this week. That's great. That's great. Okay, this next one, this is kind of cute. So Hike It Baby is a parents group dedicated to getting families together and out into nature with newborns and little ones. Uh, there are branches in over 200 cities around the country and internationally. I didn't know what Hike It Baby was and I thought it was awesome. So Hike It Baby is a uh, hiking crazy canyon uh, at the trailhead tomor tomorrow at 1.30. Nice. Yeah, and so it'll be the backside of Mount Sentinel. It's about two and a half mile round trip. They'll have kids and carriers. Um, but they do have an option to head up a road that could manage an off-road stroller too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, there is an off-road stroller if you have time and money. Yeah, it's probably really expensive. But that's kind of cool. I thought Hike It Baby was neat. Um, and so you can just go to, you can just type in Hike It Baby in Google and you can find their website and find out more information about them. <laughs> ignore Scott the loves rest them. of the, the, ignore the bad, other bad slides that yeah. would be for Hike It Baby. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. Yeah. I know, it's kind of a bad name. It would, yeah, it is a bad just, name. Just because there's so many other things that that could be, like, confused Hi with. Hi, baby. Yeah. Hi, la, 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 oh, la, yeah. La. yeah, see? Something like that. I don't know, though. We're just... No. Oh yeah, you totally hiked it. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> okay, over at the Hilton Garden Inn at 3 p.m. is a Missoula Jobs Service Career Fair. Um, so it's employers looking for workers, and if you need work, you can go there and check it out. Over the University of Montana at 3.30, I do believe that this is in the... Um, Gallagher Business Building. Yes, Gallagher Business Building. Thanks, Scott. Mm -hmm. So... This is this where you can actually talk to the people. Oh, really? The yeah. president's Seminar lecture. and then the lectures where they just say, I'm an expert, this is why. Yeah. And the seminar is like, I disagree with you. It's like, well, I disagree with you. No, yes. Perfect. Okay, I, I never knew what the difference was between the seminar and the lecture. Well, I knew the well, lecture like, was well, a lecture. You know, like when you're in a class and they have a lecture period, yeah. and then you have, sometimes you have a, a, a lab Q class. A. Yeah, the, it's like the lab. Yeah, they call okay. it a lab. But this nice. is technically the presidential lecture series lab where you can... Get a chance to talk to a um, New York Times reporter, and yeah. editor, an Emmy Award winning PBS. And a Pulitzer Prize winner. 
Yeah, okay, so Hendrick Smith, he is a Pulitzer Prize winning former New York Times reporter and editor and Emmy Award winning PBS frontline producer and editor. He sounds great. Uh, so he is going to be speaking on Can We Reclaim the American Dream? Uh, free and open to the public, a Gallagher business building. And then him, his lecture will happen later in the evening, and I got information about that. Because Lord knows PBS can't keep Sesame Street. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lego Club is at the Missoula Public Library at 3.30. And then over at the University of Montana, starting at 4, um, May 25th through April 13th. No, April 25th through May 13th is the BFA Senior Thesis Exhibit um, in the Gallagher, not the Gallagher Business Building, the Gallery of Visual Arts. And so, yeah, so this features six of the 21 students graduating. Uh, it's a combined work exemplifies the many facets of identity, sexual expression, abuse, and the natural world. Yeah, and these are your future artists there? in the world. And who knows if they're going to be famous or not. It's all up to what you guys think. You it's true. Check it out. It's, uh, you can tell yourself that you were there when you saw the very first painting by... Um, Aja. Aja. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, remember Aja? Asia. Aja. Aja. It's spelled A J A. I'm sorry. It's Aja. Or Aha. Aha. If you're, if you're um, Spanish. <laughs> I like that. Aha. 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 <laughs> We're so bad. We're that Scandinavian. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, at the Lifelong Learning Center, starting at 4.30, we've got a total body toning. And then, if you don't want to tone your body, you can just drink some wine. Sweet. Over the downtown drop-in wine tasting, Hitler brought a bell at 5. Uh, word on the street that it's 12.50. A different theme each week and a minimum of four wines. Okay. Over the Green Path Herb School, they've got at five o'clock. They've got a class called Using Chinese Herbs in Bone Broths. I know that sounds super great. And so uh, you can learn how to make ancient tradition. Let's see, different toxic tonic herbs and make wonderful additions to your soup stock. Cool. So they'll just bone examine broths. Those. So it's kind of like ivory. Yeah, yep. I think it's I think it's just like chicken bones and beef bones, I would think. And then you can add different Chinese herbs to that to make it uh, more nutritional and delicious. Great. Uh, over the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got PIO, PIO Strength Class. They're at 5.30. And so what this is, is a up-tempo, non-spiritual approach to mind-body exercise that combines Pilates, yoga, strength conditioning, flexibility, and dynamic balance. Cool. Uh, over at the Good Food Store at 5.30, they've got a cooking class. It's called Eat and Run. Um, so they're going to do some exercising and cooking and be inspired, you know, be inspired. So what they're doing is that starting at 5.45, they'll depart the store for a 30-minute run walk, and then they'll move to the Good Food Store cooking classroom and cook. Great. At the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got lots of classes this week. Uh, they've got a Drawing for Fun class at 6.00. Over at Sentinel High School, also at 6, they've got a Korean cuisine cooking class. Huh. You can call 549-8765 for more information about that. Lifelong Learning Center has got a beginning two-step dance that starts at 7. Over at the VFW, um, starting at 7, there's Pedal Fest 2.0, uh, 2.0. One, day one, I don't know, they, they do weird names over there. So Pedal Fest is a festival to help free cycles buy back their home with comedy, guitar duels, local artists, and more. Uh, so comedy is at 7.30, guitar duels at 9, music with pale people, the magpies and the wrinkles are at 10.30, and then 3.30 a.m. maybe go to bed. Uh, at 7 p.m. tomorrow night is uh, at the Yuri Lecture Hall is the Ask About Islam panel and discussion. Um, and so that is part of Celebrate Islam Week. And if you've got questions about Muslims or Islam or anything that you want to know or that you've got going on in your brain, you can go there and you can ask them and find out more information. And you can also go to the Facebook page, um, facebook.com slash Salam Missoula. Yeah, and ASAP actually played the piano the other night. How was that discussion, ASAP? Well, I Did didn't. You? I didn't stay for the entire thing, but what they were doing was just making comparisons uh, and instead of presenting that so-called so -called gruesome side that you see on the news. They were presenting a more delightful, pleasant 
side of the Islam world and just answering questions. And the food was very good. Actually. Was it good? Yeah, they made a joke that they weren't going to be serving hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> no, they weren't. No. <laughs> no that work. But and it, that was their joke. So good. I, you know, break the ice. Yeah. yeah. But they had Indian food there. It was really good. And nice. they gave me free reign to play whatever I want. But I tried to play what I thought was appropriate. So I just did classical music and very nice. love songs. Cool. Is that, that, that sounds fun. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, he was there Monday night. Nice. Asaf is a jack of all piano trades. Yeah. <laughs> Any true. event, he's your guy. <laughs> all right, moving on. Over the University of Montana at 7.30, we've got Dance New Works. This is put on by the School of Theater and Dance. Um, and this is, I do believe, you know, I don't know where it is. Sometimes it's either in the open space down in the Park TV building, or is it the Denison Theater? You yeah, don't really know. it's all over the place. Yeah. Um, okay, so over at Roots Acro Sports Center, we've got Adult t Tumble and Trampoline. This is for ages 12 and older, 7.30 to 8.30. Okay, no, this is ages 16 and up, $8 to drop in, and it starts at 7.30 until 8.30. Then we've got some music. Band in Motion is at the Sunrise Saloon at 8. Um, and then we've got our uh, lecture that is the Presidential Series Lecture. University of Montana starts at 8 p.m. And it's Hendrick Smith, like we said. And he is going to be talking about who stole the American dream. Yeah, pretty sweet. Okay, and then we've got uh, open mic at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30, open mic at the Broadway at 9, Dead Hipster at the Badlander at 9, uh, Rock and Karaoke at the Dark Horse at 9. So that's what's going on. Check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana, uh, The Independent, and The Missoulian for more events in your community. I always go to MissoulaEvents.net, so that's where you can see all the information I've talked about, plus more events that I skipped over. Cool. Yeah. Do we have Hallmark or Bullmark? Nope. No. Oh, well, it's just a short Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, last uh, last night was our very first, uh, well, not really, more like our second attempt at uh, cellular, cellular bonding. And, and that's it, something that we're, that MCAT just started doing. Yes. We did that with the um, last Friday for the Supreme Court hearing on the Mountain Water Trial. And um, on Tuesday, um, I mean on, yeah, yeah Tuesday, yeah. Yesterday, yesterday, the 26th of April, uh, it was nice, <laughs> it was about 70 degrees outside, and at Sealy Swan, I went to Sealy Swan, the fighting um, Blackhawks, which I don't understand why they're just not called the Swans, I just wanted to, like, anyways. Makes more sense. So I did this school board meeting, they had hosted up, up there, it was the Board of Trustees meeting, and um, you live and learn. Um, the audio, apparently, I crossed the streams, as in I had the same um, frequency on both wireless mics, mm. which caused a wah, 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 cool little EDM, but really distracting. It sounded um, like a, like a, like a, almost like a... Whispering. Um, no, it sounded like a scratching of a disc. Like a vinyl being like scratched, like what? what, what it sounded Basically, like Basically, like the mics are just interfering with each other, causing yeah. this issue. But of course, the last like 40 minutes or so, the audio is like... Perfect. But it looked good. The uh, it, the visuals looked really good. The That's only good. thing was the audio. But yeah, it, yeah, it looked good. We, we, there's only two bars available in that up there in City Lake, anyways. But that we, makes we sense. got one. We got one green light. I was like, uh, that, that, and then they called me back, and I was like, oh no, the audio's bad. Yeah. And I thought I was fixing messing with the audio the whole night. I was just, I didn't realize that the. Um, and then and then when you finally realized, what was your reaction? Uh, were you like slapping the face? Yeah, you were like, like no. no. That's good. At least you got the yeah. last 15 minutes. He got the last 15 minutes, perfect video, perfect audio. Mm -hmm. The first hour, but that's okay. You know, we just got cellular bonding. This is all about learning experience. Because <laughs> everybody knows that in the school board meeting, the first hour is the most important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last hour, everyone's just like. Whoa. Yeah, last hour was like. Um. <laughs> well. But, yeah. Um. I hope you guys have a good night, better night's sleep tonight than I did. Yeah. <laughs> from last night. Poor little Scotty couldn't sleep. You should just do homework because I that always makes me tired. <laughs> I do have a lot of work to do today. I'm going to finish editing all the PSAs for the Give Local. And of course, if you don't know what Give Local is, it's a campaign that's happening in six days from now, which is next Tuesday. And we'll be hosting a very special Wake Up Missoula live yes. streaming on, on our Tuesday. Day. If you go to local live on our webpage mcat.org, you'll be able to see all um, space bar. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be able to see all the local live, all the live stuff. So basically, I'm producing my. It, it's my finals week in a way because yeah. I'm going to be on Tuesday. I'm going to be producing a seven-hour broadcast. 
That's going to be All intense. Day. I'll be there in and out yep. as I've got responsibilities and homework and classes yeah, that day. Yeah, because your final but is coming up soon, yes, too. Yes, yes. I graduate from college in three weeks. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm very excited. Um, I'm more, I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared and I'm really excited and I'm very ready for it. I've worked very hard for my degree. Yep. And next week is also the last week uh, for flagship. Yes. So I have to make about like 40 DVDs for all these kids. <laughs> so I'm coming in on Sunday because um, I can't come on Saturday because we have our stop animation and if you have a kid age 9 to 13 you can join us on our stop animation Saturday from 1 to 5 or you can go to the Ronald McDonald house at the um, indoor soccer arena it's oh. like right behind the Target um, and that's where um, MCAT will be from like 5 to yes until I 5 like, to till Scott wants to leave passes out or yes till Scott passes out <laughs> yes I'll be here raining the children yep <laughs> but of Make course sure if you want to find more children. information you go to our website mcat.org you could uh, like us on Facebook Brazil mm-hmm. Community Access Television mm-hmm. uh, you could also go to our Twitter page at MCAT TV <laughs> Missoula you can uh, like Wake Up Missoula on Twitter at, M- at Wake Up Missoula. You can uh, check us out on Facebook and to find out more information about Wake Up Missoula, just go to wakeupmissoula.wakes.com slash wakeupmissoula. Yep, I just like to throw you off sometimes. We go back I know, you really did, yeah. <laughs> no, but I was like, of course, if you, if you want to be involved with MCAT and you want to get in contact with us, you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. Or you can email us if you're pansy. Yes. MCAT at MCAT.org. Yeah, that's totally But without further ado, um, thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks to Vicki Bostick for Senior Companion from Missoula Agent Services for joining us this morning. And for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. For Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McFoy. Here's Asaph Adonai. We'll see you guys Friday.